One of the most basic functions in Microsoft Word is printing envelopes and labels. You'd think that such a basic function would be intuitive. It's not. One of the most frequent questions I get from longtime WordPerfect users is, where on earth are the envelopes or labels in Word? In all the ribbon-based versions of Microsoft Word, you can find the Envelopes and Labels feature on the Mailings tab. Over on the far left in the Create command group are Envelopes and Labels. Click Envelopes to start. You'll notice immediately that the dialog box you get is for both envelopes and labels. Depending on whether you clicked on envelopes or labels in the Mailings tab, the correct tab on this dialog box will be selected by default. However, you can always click on the other tab if you've changed your mind. At this point, you could simply type something into the Delivery Address field, put your return address in the indicated field, if it's not there already, which it would be if Word had already saved it there from your last time, and then hit the Print button. And most of the time, that'll work just fine. You may have noticed that because I had my cursor here, when I clicked on Envelopes, Word automatically inserted the delivery address. Let's explore this Envelopes tab a bit further so you know how to tweak your settings on your own. Click the Options button. Since I'm in the U.S., this is defaulting to a standard number 10 envelope, but the drop-down provides a whole list of choices. Microsoft Word also has some embedded default settings for the placement of both the delivery and return addresses, but you can adjust those too, as well as the font used. You can switch the size envelope by using the drop-down under Envelope Size. If you want to change the font of either the delivery or return address, click Font under either Delivery Address or Return Address, and choose the font, font style, and size within that dialog box. Then click OK. Depending on the size envelope you chose, Word will automatically calculate an appropriate placement for the return and delivery addresses. If you want different settings, you can either use the spinners beside delivery address or return address to increment the settings. For US users, those settings will be in inches. Or you can type a custom horizontal from left and vertical from top setting into the from left or from top fields. Let's switch over to the Printing Options tab. Again, Microsoft Word, based on your printer driver, will select a default feed method for your envelope. Most of the time, you can leave the setting alone. However, if you find that your envelope needs to be fed into the manual feed or envelope tray in a different way or position, you can reset that here by clicking the picture that looks most like your printer's feed method and choosing either face up or face down. You should consult your printer's help files and manual to determine the best setting to use. Here's a tip. You can usually look at your printer's manual feed tray to determine whether manually fed documents like envelopes should be inserted face up or face down, and even which end should be inserted first. Going back to the Envelopes and Labels dialog box, we see that we have two options for producing the envelope, Print and Add to Document. Clicking on Print, obviously, sends the envelope straight to the printer. If you're manually feeding your envelope from your printer's manual feed tray, be sure you've already inserted it correctly per your printer's instructions. Clicking on Add to Document inserts a page at the top of your document formatted as an envelope. One of the advantages of choosing Add to Document is you can go back in and change the envelope's font or other formatting settings if you need to. A disadvantage, however, is that you must be careful how you print the document, particularly if the envelope must be manually fed and the remainder of the document does not. The easiest way to just print the envelope is to go to the File tab, Print, select Custom Print, and type 1 in the box beneath. Or, you can click your cursor somewhere in the envelope, go to the File tab, and choose Print, 
current page. Experiment and figure out which method works best for you and your setup. Speaking of what works best for you, this brings me as an aside to my own preferred method for creating envelopes. I've saved a blank template already formatted as an envelope with the margin set up to place the delivery address 2.5 inches from the top and 4.0 inches from the left, standard for a number 10 envelope. To do this, I go to the Layout tab. You may see it as Page Layout in earlier versions of Word and perform several actions. First, I set the paper size type to a number 10 envelope. Next, I set the page orientation to landscape. Finally, I set the margins to 2.5 inches on the top, 4.0 inches on the left, and a half inch on bottom and right. And yes, it's possible to do all of these steps within the Margins and Paper tab of the Page Setup dialog box. By clicking on that tiny gray launcher arrow in the lower right-hand corner of the Page Setup section of the Layout tab. Or double-clicking on the horizontal or vertical rulers. If you want a pre-printed return address embedded into your envelope template, you can place that address in the header of your template. To do that, double-click into the header section of your envelope. You'll notice that because you've set your left margin at 4.0 inches or whatever measurement you chose for your delivery address, your header starts at that measurement too. That's clearly not what you want for your return address. To fix that, right-click and choose Paragraph. That'll take you to the Paragraph dialog box. There you can set a negative indentation to move your return address over to the left. If you want to reposition your return address relative to the top of the page, adjust the Header from Top setting in the Position command group of the Header and Footer tab, visible whenever your cursor is positioned inside of a header or footer. Now you can type in your return address. Then click Close Header and Footer in the Contextual tab, to finish. To save your envelope as a template, go to the File tab and click on Save As, Browse, and in the File Explorer window, be sure to choose a template format, in this case a .dotx file, and then name your envelope. Because I have my personal template folder already set up, Word has put that into my Custom Office Templates folder within OneDrive, but you may want to double check and make sure that your template is going into the folder where you can access your templates. So for example, if I wanted to create a new envelope, I would go to File, New, and then I would see my envelope template up here. Now that I have an envelope template already saved, I always have an envelope form I can start using immediately. This enables me to print multiple letterhead envelopes throughout the day. All I have to do is copy and paste addresses from Letters in Progress and print from the envelope form. Once I have the envelopes I need, I can simply delete the addresses and reuse the form.